guys so uh welcome back this to this week's video maybe um what's the word i'm looking for maybe this is a two-parter because i am a bullet journal uh youtube account but uh i do makeup now question mark so um if you don't know me my name is kayla or aka breathe siren writes which i think i should just change to breathe siren at this point like my main account my on my insta so many plugins right now um but if you can't tell this is wandavision themed this is the hot topic merch official merch from wandavision this is her final form her scarlet witch look which i am so getting the actual cosplay version of or hopefully making before this i had did the halloween episode look just by myself and i made the headpiece a little weird it wasn't actually accurate to the show but it was rushed for just pictures because i couldn't wait so if i show that i'll probably pop it up right here um besides that let's get into the makeup because this is gonna be really quick i don't think i'm gonna be like all into it like i was with the halsey video and i actually used halsey's lipstick for wanda's lipstick and the pictures which i find perfect because when i went to ulta yesterday uh the one division uh stuff almost sold out they only had like the eyebrow kits left the nail uh stickers uh the brushes like maybe three or four brushes and the jelly gloss clear lip set which i didn't think was worth getting because it's just clear gloss and a clear lip which I have a lot of those and I'm not really a gloss person but we'll get into that later and I took a picture of it just for evidence because I was like everything is gone apparently I wasn't the only girl that came into the store looking for stuff and that's all they really had so I was like whatever I'm, at least I ordered it online but the only thing I really went there for was the red lip that they had the red lipstick set because it came with um the lip liner and the liquid lip matte I think it was matte and it sold out online and when I tried to look it up online, it disappeared. Gone. Like, I guess it was so sold out everywhere they just took it offline. And anything I have right now is what was left online yesterday when I checked. I don't know if anything's still up there. But, um, okay, enough talking. Everything I used is in the description box below. I will put it there, especially like my face what was what's already on my face right now so you don't got to worry about what i'm using i'll just leave everything in the description box below but for my face looks a little plain i actually got the bronze that the bronze and highlight palette it's new tones which i thought was really great uh, and a mirror so i will be using this mirror when i'm doing makeup instead of having my full mirror here it's a lot of process when you have such a small room and I notice I touch my hair a lot <laughs> something I'm trying not to do so if I move my wig it's because it's in my way um with that yes this is what I mean by two-parter I am working on a WandaVision bullet journal spread and you'll probably see that in the next video if not the first one so I don't know what comes first but this is what I'm doing I'll spread before I got sidetracked now everything I got was online. I opened some of these products already. So this is the uh, uh, shimmer eyeshadow liquid and groovy. It's a gold base uh, glitter palette. I mean glitter eyeshadow. Sorry, not a makeup beauty guru. <laughs> I explained this in my previous videos, but gold. I'm not going to be using this today since I'm going to be copying her look in the show at the end since I am wearing her outfit. Oh, that's nice. And I really love the packaging. Whoever did the packaging design, really lovely. I can't. It's just a gold, nothing too special. And then while I let that dry on my arm, each packaging resembles the TV show or her theme. You get her little icon right there. And this one is the same thing. They only had two shitter um shitter <laughs> shimmer eyeshadow liquids and they all come individually packaged and wrapped which i thought was a little bit much and this is the silver 
the gold has a reflective design like the telebroadcasting electricity and this is silver which I think they tried to base it off of uh, vision so gold and silver the silver is actually very uh, transparent it's like those transparent nail polishes that you wear I mean that you would paint over your nails with your kid but I'm not gonna do a double layer because I don't think it's worth it so this is the gold in comparison to the silver it's very transparent I mean, while the gold is very pigmented, so we're gonna put that to the side now. Try rushing this. Try not to make this like past a 15 minute video. Um, then we have the. Uh... Actually, before I get into that, let me wipe this off my arm before I accidentally touch myself and I just kicked the lipstick I was holding. Ah, okay, so it dried pretty fast. The gold is still on my arm. The silver is off because I just put it on, but it's, it looks like it stays there after you put it on, which is really great. <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> we're, we're back. And the next thing I have is the Jelly Gloss Lip Balm Set in Conjure. I already took it out of the box because I wanted everything to be set up. Now, it comes in a mauve color each description of the lipsticks are actually really interesting so if you read the back of this one it says conjure a fresh look at the totally cool juicy lip look of the 90s with this lip duo now i am not a gloss person i think i said this in the beginning so i'm gonna be actually staying with the, the lip balm which does smell like cherries my favorite reminds me of those chapstick cherries which i'm keeping i don't think it's worth putting it on i'll just swatch it on my arm it actually does look like a cherry color it's just this one right there uh so bad at makeup stuff please don't come at me and then i'm actually gonna give this the other half away to my best friend if my best friend sees this love you you don't know what i else what else i got you <laughs> um it's just the mauve color it's a thicker I say this is thicker than the one I'm about to show you. So love you, best friend. Surprise. Um, and this one is the Plumping Lip Gloss, which is funky. And it's another mauve color, but this one is 70s related. So I'm actually going to be putting this on my lips right now. I should be using the mirror instead of my viewfinder. Smells kind of minty. I don't know. Not like Halsey's minty because that one is really powerful, but this one smells like some type of mint. Maybe it's a light mint, a eucalyptus. Maybe it might be a eucalyptus. Who just texted me? I heard that my phone's on do not disturb. Where it should be. Now this has plumping uh, quality, so maybe I'm smelling whatever makes it plump. I should look at the back and read what's in it, but right now, I don't have the time to. It's, I wouldn't mind it. Actually, it feels more like a lip gloss, like um, a very nourishing lip balm. And I'm not a lip gloss person because normally I don't like when the lips do the thing and then the hair gets stuck in the way. But this I actually don't mind, but it's not mask season or just chilling in the house and I want to feel cute. This is probably a good lip gloss. Like, I'm a big fan. Okay, whatever. I'm trying to make it the line go away. But now that I got that out the way, that's how it looks. It's very uh, transparent too, but it's a good, it's a good mauve kind of color. Plus, I have foundation on my lips anyway. So, gel eyeliner kit. Sorry if this feels so rushed. I am trying to rush this. Comes in four different colors: black, pink, blue, black, pink, blue, purple. Sorry, I'm like all over the place, scatterbrained. Um, now, oh, these are. Okay, what? 
I'm sorry, it looks like you can sh push it up. Maybe I'm stupid, I'm holding it the other way. Okay, I'll figure this off off camera. I'll let you know in the description box. But these look like they sharpen by itself. It looks like it has a point already. I'm not really sure, but okay. So it's a light purple when you use it. And I'm pretty sure you can like push it up if need be. I would not know how to do that with this yet so far. Because I've tried turning it and obviously you saw it didn't move up. So that's purple. I see the blue. Ah, okay. It's very light aqua blue. I like that. Pink. I've never owned any kind of gel I, I, uh, eyeliners or anything like that. Because I've always gone with simple black. And I'm just going to use black anyway. And that's a black eyeliner. So these are the three colors. Ignore, this is from earlier. So the purple I would say needs more color. The blue pops, the pink obviously probably will need another go over, but all the colors seem to be popping off. Like if I obviously angle the light, you can see all the colors. It's nice, I think I like the blue the most. So that, that's that. Um, now, I have never, never used bronzer on my face or anything, so this is going to be a fun way to see if I can mess this up. I also have here the makeup brush kit, which is actually, everything was so, I think was worth the price because I think the most expensive one was this one. This was retail for $20, which I think is okay for uh what is it five brushes and a makeup bag normally you would get brushes and a makeup set um more for more i think depending on who you get your brushes from so i'm not mad at this price considering since these are actually made for wandavision i'll show you right now after i get all of them out yeah one Now, these are actually very detailed. They're gold and they're like, I don't know how to describe it. They're actually, let's be the box to see how they're, they're uh, mystical. No, okay, so it doesn't say, the, but I have a concealer brush. This is just like a eyeshadow brush, another blending brush, contour and blush brush, I'm pretty sure powder brush, whatever. I use brushes, like whatever. I, they're like really cool shaped and they don't feel like hard to hold in the hand. I think I like that. I think I like that. I know I like that. But if you look closely at it, it has her headpiece at the final, her final headpiece when it's revealed. So that's really a nice touch for these brushes. And then the bag just resembles the, I would say this packaging because it looks like it matches. It looks like the same things, but I think this is more diamond shaped than this. But I really like it. It's really a cool travel case. Like you, the minimal brush, like a minimalist, like you don't need that many brushes to go. This is a nice size bag. Um, now, okay, so um, she has two highlighters. She, she has two highlighters, a light nude, I would say, and then a darker nude. And the one I think I'm going to be using is called Nostalgia. And then the one on the left is called Timeless. And then the bronzer, the contour, whatever, is called Stellar and then Everlasting. So I think I'm actually going to go with mm, Stellar. I'm going to do my cheekbones. I'm not going to touch my nose because I don't know how to do that. And maybe my forehead. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I tried to go into my nose. Don't know how uh, I messed that up, but I did, and I had to refix my nose. You can probably can tell my nose is a little darker, but I don't care. <laughs> I just want to do this. Now, I contoured my forehead. I think I made it a little darker. Um, I don't think you can tell. I uh, Maybe you can because you see it there. I'm horrible at this. 
Um, now, I can tell you one thing when I was using it. it maybe I wasn't using the right brush because this is a really dense brush, but I think it worked. I don't know. But uh, it had a lot of fallout. The, I keep saying it wrong. I'm going to do white. The bronzer. I'm sorry. I keep saying contour because you are supposed to contour, but it's bronzer. Shadow palette. Now, this comes in a very cute packaging. Again, looks like that. When you open it, it's in, a, in this. Now, I thought you can open it. Like, I just thought it was an encasing. It's actually encased with plastic. So, you open it from the side. I already did this. So, I opened it. I'm trying not to destroy the packaging because I have a thing with that. And then you just pull it out. And I have a thing about order. So, the first one on top is this one. All the ones, I think, are... This is... Either 70 themed, because it seems like it. 70s themed colors. They go by the era for the show. If you don't know the show, it goes through like the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, 80s, 90s, to modern day where you finish off WandaVision. This is a part of probably like what you would call the 80s, I would say. Each of these, the first two, were neutral themes, like you get all the regular themes, and then this one stands out because I believe this is supposed to stand for Agnes. And then the third one is the blues and the pinks and white and gray. I like how I'm like pinking over to make sure it's in frame. <laughs> but those are the three. And I'm going to be basing off the eyeshadow, I think I said this earlier from the end credit, I mean the fi the season finale, so I am think I'm using the first two because that matches. Now her eyeshadow, if I can just show you my phone real quickly, if it focuses, you can tell. It just looks like a natural base, it doesn't seem like it goes too crazy with colors, so with that I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm taking Hex and just applying it to the base. I need this. With the mirror, I'm going to be using Hex. I'm going to apply this to the contour brush. And fallout. There's a, a little bit of fallout from just tapping it on there. So I'm going to do my right eye. My concealer creased as hell on my eye. That's my fault. Um, and fallout underneath the eye just by accident. Let me see if I can like zoom you in so you can see me. Oh yeah. That's so better. And then I'll fix the wig later. So taking Hex again on my right eye, I'm just going to dab it on there. It seems like a goldy sands color. Like, it's a good base. And then with that eye being done, I hope you guys can see that from here because my eye, I'm looking down so that you can see the color. I hope that makes sense. And then after that, I'm going to go in with, sorry, I have the, this is confusing me because I'm holding it. And then with that, I'm going to take Flourish. I need another arm. I'm taking Flourish, which is this color. I'm going to use the same brush. I think I just dropped one. Did I? I dropped one I didn't need. Perfect. Did I? Oh, I dropped the box. I didn't need. Cool, cool, cool. So I'm taking Flourished on... This looks like a blending brush. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this one. And just grab Flourished. A little bit of Flourished. And I'm going to actually start from the middle out. And bring it... And bring it up. So... Mm, it's just a little bit darker than this. So it shows. But I'm bringing it above my eye crease. And that's actually not bad. You can totally see the color compared to Hex, the first one that I use. I just hope the way I'm doing it, the uh, familiar one pops up. Because it looks like a mauve color she has on her eyelids. So with that, I'm going to 
trying to make this even. I notice I don't do makeup evenly. So I am actually ended up bringing it towards the corner, but oh, I don't have corner completely covered. Now that I have that eye done, this part done, I'm going to make mix it with familiar and do the corner and go in. So if you are watching this and you watch WandaVision, which I'm assuming you did, because why would you not, not get the makeup palette if you didn't? Uh, you can tell me what you thought about it in the comments section. Oh yeah, that just makes it... I actually want to swatch this on my arm. Okay, so this line right here. Is familiar. I wish I did that first instead of doing the dark first. I'm pretty sure I can correct that later. But actually, test this out on this eye. Let's see. So, Flourish actually made it darker than how. Uh, familiar looks on this eye. I wish I would have did familiar first, but then you really can't tell after I do that. So I'm probably gonna make go in with a lighter color in the middle and make it light again. So I'm just gonna continue with familiar on this eye. I don't think Wanda has eyeliner on in, at the end of her show. I think if anything, it's just really good mascara because normally I would do eyeliner but I don't think her look requires it so I'm lost in this side of the palette it's actually a pink so maybe it'll work out taking that on the other brush which I don't know what it's called stippling brush blending brush I feel like I used whatever brush I'm gonna take that and just apply it all over the lid because when I look at it it doesn't look this dark it looks like it has a little bit of pink to it oh that's a that's a bright pink. I don't know if you can see that when I look down. I'm so bad at this. Sorry. I'm actually gonna just take that all over. Well, oh, that's so bright. I didn't need to do that. Go back and familiar and make it darker again. Familiar on the outer corner, familiar outer. And then what is a dark rune? I'm going to take Rune, again, from the purple palette. I think you can briefly saw it in the past. You can just pause and look at all the colors. So I'm going to take Rune and just... Let me see. Okay, I'll take Rune. Pretty sure there are other tutorials that can show you how to get Wanda Maximoff's eyeshadow color. But as of right now, this works for me. I'm going to go back, touch up my eyes with concealer, fix it around here, and I'll come back, show you the finish, and then... Okay, so I fixed up my face. The lighting changed. Obviously, it's getting darker outside. I think it's going to rain. But that was the WandaVision uh, makeup collaboration thing. If I take pictures after that, which I will, I will show you the full WandaVision outfit that I have on right now. Uh, I will leave everything I use in the description box below. Obviously, if I miss something, it's in the video. Just look back at the video of what I said. Just a quick tip, though for if you get the eyeshadow palette and the bronzer and highlight powder uh, palette, the powder does come off. It has a, a little bit of fallout, I would say, like you just delicately tapping it with your brush. There is definitely fallout, but I think that goes to show that the powder that they use is very fine, I would say. But I have no complaints here. Most eyeshadow palettes usually have a little bit of fallout, but that's also I guess normal. I guess I just that, that just explained everything. Um, besides that, if you have a fallout on your face, I suggest waiting after you're done and then flicking upwards instead of just downwards because if you do it downwards, you'll leave streaks on your face. So if you go upwards and out, it'll not do that. Next time, I think I should just buy a blush. I, you've seen me in my Halsey videos. I complain that I look too plain in my face and that my face needs color. Maybe I'll grab a blush for next video, but not of the WandaVision set, just completely off topic, just a, diff a blush for my face. But other than that, that was the makeups. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If, oh my god. <laughs> if you want more, if you like what I have to offer, please subscribe, like, and stay tuned. If I post the WandaVision bullet journal thing after this video, if not, then you saw it already or it's on my channel. Whatever, end cards. Thank you so much. Bye.